You Would know, you say this is your biggest project to date? This is definitely our flagship for Alcobeta. Hi everyone, we're visiting a construction site in Alcoz for an upcoming landmark called Project Q. The developers like to call it a blend of lifestyle, luxury, and the arts. This is the first luxury residential building in Alcoz. Yes. It's going to change the whole neighborhood. Yes, exactly. So the idea behind this project is going to uplift Alcoz completely. It's going to be, you know, it's going to set a new bar. That's the idea. I mean, Alcoz is already very trendy. You yeah. have cafes, you yes. have gyms, you have paddle courts. A lot of artists come here. Tons. So it, it makes sense. Yes, yes. It's a super, it's a cultural hub. It's Dubai Soho, right? So it's got every element, you know, of of it's that mix of industrial meets meets these re retail concepts that's you know you what you find in Algoz you can't find elsewhere in Dubai you talk about the artsy scene or, or yes. art hubs there's also call there's d3 what would you say this is most similar to I would say that this is a combination of everything to be very honest it's got its own unique identity it's taking aspects from d3 it's taking aspects from Sarkal it's taking aspects from probably like a city walk we've got the double basement, you know, we've got plenty of parking here. We've got a uh, beautiful open courtyard, similar to Sarkal. We've got uh, double height, uh, mezzanine included retail spaces. So that's similar to even a Dubai mall, you know, the new fashion avenue Dubai mall. It's got that, that, that luxury element as well. So this is part of project Q, yeah. but this is Q East. And you're going to have an entire other wing on the other yes. side of the street. Yes, yes. So when you drive through Al Khail Street, you'll see us on both sides of the road. That's definitely part of the vision we have. Uh, this is the first phase, Q East. It's the larger plot. It's where we're going to be having most of the events and most of the activity. Then we have Q West, which is the second phase of the project that's kicking off uh, this month. Uh, and that's something that uh, we'll have a completion at a later date, obviously around 25, 26. We'll hopefully get to connect them because this whole project's about community. Take through the project alongside the retail. We've got uh, one complete floor, I think over 25,000 square feet of co-working space, incubators. That's okay. what we're planning to do at least. And we want to offer, you know, monthly subscriptions, so monthly rent. And that's where startups can sort of come about like lo lo you know homegrown local startups we want right. to support the startup community yeah. we want that constantly rotating crowd above that's the natural progression for a startup so we're going to put a business center above that mm -hmm. with one two and four people fitted offices as well coming into the space walking into the co-working space you'll immediately feel that sensation of i want to work here you would know, you say this is your biggest project today this is definitely our flagship for alpha better Um, retail over here ground floor and you know it's road we call it the roadside retail because you've got the each unit is sort of lengthwise yeah. so they'll have access to the courtyard here and there'll be uh, uh, access from the road as well so they'll have that natural light coming in from both sides it's really sort of unique residential will be on the top yeah floor. residential will be on the top floor that final level and then above that they have a terrace equal to the square footage of their apartment with a private pool up there. Wow. So 17 units? Yep. Each unit has their own pool and terrace? Yes. All right. Save it's... one for me. <laughs> yeah, okay, no problem. So this is the light what structure. Yeah, this is the light structure retail. So immediately you can feel the temperature difference. It's all sort of wow. uh, contained, insulated. This and this, great. Yeah, this is going to be um, actually five meter high and then there's another four meters, so it's a total 10 meter structure. Five meter high is gonna be a mezzanine. You can see over there, this is the height it's gonna be. So it's gonna feel like a traditional retail space. Each, it'll be like the only double height retail you kind of have in Dubai besides like Dubai Mall. So we have a, you know, a bunch of concepts that we really wanna do. We're trying to get a warehouse, a movie theater in here. We're trying to get um, sort of a, uh, we're gonna have a bespoke sort of gym as well, something different, something boutique to cater to all the, you know, work workspaces and residences above. And then we've got um, a couple of restaurants closer towards the courtyard area over there. So they're going to be looking in and sort of restaurants, cafes, F&B units as well. Um, we want to do... But this is all indoor where we're standing now. Yes, where we're standing now will be, be indoor. indoor outdoor concept? Yeah, so here's the outdoor. So if you can see that area in the middle, that's yeah. going to be the open courtyard. Cool. 
and where we're standing now is the indoor. We're standing in between two units of the indoor space, and we've got, and this is but this is going to be uh, going to have another floor above. So it's just a mezzanine and then another roof. So it's quite, it's going to be quite nice. Each unit's going to be double height. It's going to be super unique. There's nothing really like this. Yeah, I was going to say I can't think of a project that no. has all of these all elements. these elements together. So the whole idea is that it's it's sort of a mix of residential meets offices, commercial meets this open space retail. We kind of call it retail, even though we're located in the heart of El Goz, just because um, we want that, those retail concepts. You could open in a mall or you could open here. We wanted to completely uplift the neighborhood. You know, it's a sophisticated lifestyle project focused on community, because that's the number one thing for us. We want it to be a sort of a community project. We want everybody to feel like neighbors and and you know whether you own a retail shop or you're upstairs working in the co-working space or you're a tenant in the residential above, above like everybody knows each other 